Now from meteorologist Katie Frazier in for Doppler Dave and Katie the storms are moving in. We heard some thunder earlier we lightning sure in Borderland too. Yes we have and it's really windy outside as well. I know most of our reporters are getting dust in our eyes. I just went outside and I got dust in my eyes too. So we're taking a look right now from our El Paso radar which is giving us a really good look at the storms that we're currently seeing across the area. Now I want to bring your attention to this line of thunderstorms that is out in rural Doniana County. Now most of them are still just going to stay over here, but they're starting to weaken and they're releasing their gusts from. What that means is they're releasing their winds, which helps us uh, create new storms and that is pushing towards our way. So it is likely that those of us who live on the I-10 corridor in the upper valley, even some of us in El Paso can see some more storms over the next couple hours. And I know it's something that many of us are looking forward to. Now we could take a look at our Holloman radar as well which is showing us a different view of these storms. It's also showing us not as much activity across El Paso as of right now. Most of us or most of it is centered off in Mexico and of course Doniana County. We still do have storm activity out in Hudspeth County as well. So we're going to continue to track these storms over the next several hours. I'll time it all out for you coming up in a few minutes.